if you were to advise your two children or your two children, yeah. how to prepare for this new economy where everything's going to be automated? Number one, what are the skill sets that are going to be most vital that people should be really investing in? Yes. That may not be important now, or it is still important now, but it's going to be way more important in the future. Sure. So if you look at the jobs that are most subject to automation, it's not low education, high education. It's repetitive versus non-repetitive. So if you do a repetitive intellectual job, like accounting or bookkeeping or a lot of lawyering, uh, then you're, you could be in trouble. Mm. Uh, if you do non-repetitive manual work, like cutting hair or cleaning hotel rooms <laughs> or, or landscaping, you're probably not going to be automated because you can imagine yeah. trying to get some like hairdressing robot. You know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, and never getting a robot to cut the hair. <laughs> so, so the key for a young person is to head towards non-routine uh, tasks and environments and mm -hmm. have a few traits that, that are core to your uh, professional life. One is adaptability because things are going to change. So if you think, oh, if I can just do this one thing, it's going to work out, that's probably not the case. You have to right. keep moving. Right. The, the second is teamwork because a lot of the social elements are going to be the most difficult to automate. Uh, and then the third is resilience where there's going to be some difficulty in a lot of the most important work and you want to be the sort of person who can do that stuff and then just keep smiling and, and <laughs> make it seem like uh, you know like it's no problem at all so again that's a adaptive ability uh, resilience and teamwork gotcha gotcha so really, a lot of entrepreneurial stuff really sure. pretty much like, it, like everyone's gonna have to become more entrepreneurial because the stable and secure jobs are not going to be there